Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. Got all rested up and saved, and now we're going to go to the plant, see what the uh, director needs help with here. Welcome to the research plant, sightseeing. Please be careful not to touch the prison reactors. Oh, we have to be talking as Momo. Well, not to this guy. So let's take a look around the plant, shall we? AKA, steal things. There must be a buyer to come all the way out here. Sure, third. I really feel bad about resting at the coffee shop. Mandrake heals all HP and... And who knows. Oh, we don't need any of this. Eighty zenny. Well, I guess that helps make up for the seventy zenny we kind of lost using the coffee shop in. Oh, and a free healing herb. As I get, we're not hurting for zenny right now. Though this money will not last, I I promise you guys. Like anytime it looks like you're going to have a lot of money, I really don't. There's no point to being back here, but there should be. Okay, let's go find somebody important. Oh yeah, to get around this plant, you can't walk up these steep hills. All we have to do is flip the lever and ride these conveyors. a Repsol-style chrism reactor. Supplies the soil with chrism energy. Yeah, I don't know how good it is to use chrism energy to grow crops. I mean, do they still retain the same taste and the same... Other th uh, the same nutritional properties? If so, then I guess it's okay. Let's go this way first. This is where the path kind of splits. Also, Momo, her, her character sprite, reminds me of Pepper Ann. If anybody knows who that is. Oh, we lost Nina. Oh, hey, Nina's back. <laughs> Work in the disposal area. Some weird-looking stuff. Big, mutated crops that look like monsters or something. Oh, wonderful. does. But whatever, we pulled it. We'll pull that other red one, too. Or not. Yeah, getting around here is kind of a tad bit annoying. Okay, so the red... Yeah, the red switch controlled this one, which wasn't even anywhere near the red switch. Dangerous? The enhanced crops? No. Well, sometimes they get a little too big. They look a little creepy then. 
I don't know what that's to. Oh, it might be to that one. Whatever. Them. Okay. Okay, away we go. I don't know if we're supposed to have that blue one pulled or not. We'll find out. I gotta flip that switch. Whose idea was it to have the only mode of transportation around here? to be conveyor belts to get around this cool place. Huh, Momo? You're Momo, Repsol's daughter, right? I'm pretty sure that needs to be flipped. Okay, we got to go back this way. We do have to flip the other... Oh, that red switch flipped that so we could go back this way. Okay, we got to pull that switch. place is such a chore. It's one of my least favorite spots to come as far as like town-ish areas. Well, there's that guy. Lately I've been doing nothing but working on Mondu 8, but I don't feel like working right now so I'm resting. Maybe it's because I'm getting old. Okay. Maybe it's a giant onion. That's who we have to talk to to advance the plot, but before we do that, let's go in here. Let's see if we can get anything. Some free healing herbs. A ginseng. And there's nothing on this side. We take the big trash that we can't dispose of here to the disposal area to the west of the plant. Alright. Mr. Pallet, we've been expecting you. I tell you, it was pure luck to have met you there, Momo. As you know, I worked as your father's assistant when he built these reactors. Whatever, now which machine needs fixing? Ah, uh, about that. <laughs> well, I've been meaning to tell you. Uh, we managed to fix the machines ourselves. Uh, what I want your help with is... Well, take a look at that. The giant onion? Okay. How cute, what is it? How can you say that? We can't sell things like that. So we take them to the disposal area. But several days ago, as we were collecting the crops to be processed and disposed of at the dump, well, um, how should I say it? You found a mutant like that one. Exactly, a huge mutant. Everyone's afraid of it and won't go near the dump anymore. But <laughs> Ryu just falls down. It got mixed in with the Chrismore. Uh, yes, so we have no idea what we should do with it. Alright, we'll take care of it. 
I mean, this wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for my father's reactors, right? But thank you so much, Momo. The disposal area is inside the mountain to the west of here. I'll make arrangements for your visit. Alright, and that will unlock that area, and before we go in there, we're going to put the flame prism on. Uh, what else do I want, though? We've got power food, magic shard, which I should, in theory, use on Momo. That's an in-battle item. Life shard, max HP. Okay, now we gotta get out of this place. Which, again, is easier said than done. Bye, guys. I'm gonna go take care of this problem by myself. Oh, okay, we're not going to do that. Yeah, this is a place where your other characters can really get stuck somewhere, but it, it doesn't matter. Because you don't actually lose them. The fact that they're following us is really just a decorative choice that Breath of Fire 3 decided to take with the game. How the heck do I get out of here? It's like the most difficult thing. This way. Uh, how do I get out of here again? Oh, that would have been convenient. But we don't have that luxury right now, so let's go this way. Maybe that's what that switch was for? I don't know. This way, this way. There we go. I think this takes us back out. Oh, there was that path we could have ran down somehow if we had gotten there. Whatever. We're out. That's all that matters. Alright, so you heard him. We have to go to the dump now. This area is now open for us to come in and uh, deal with. And, of course, I naturally don't remember which way is progress and which way is treasure right off the bat. Pain weed and rank weed. But one of these guys is weak to fire and the other not so much. That is painful. 120 that one's weak to fire. Painweed could also end up being weak to fire. Well, wasn't weak to that. Nope, that absorbs fire. Okay, so you gotta be weak to ice, and Momo, you can't do anything. Oh yeah, that's the defensive scene. Just turns the bazooka into, like, this metallic umbrella. Okay, well, that's not working either. Momo, can you... Yeah, let's do this. Oh yeah, this is what Momo's thing was. Her bazooka goes up and it turns into this, like, glowing, cool thing. I like it. Do you have any idea how not useful that is? Uh, this dungeon... Honestly, I might want to save that. I'm going to use healing herbs to heal in this dungeon. We have enough of them.
This is not a super long dungeon, though there is a little bit of a puzzle aspect to it. It's kind of a neat puzzle aspect. It, it takes advantage of the fact that this is a 3D game. Okay. Well, you can start working on that, and I'm pretty sure Eyeball will also be weak to fire. Just take that out. Silence. Right, that targets everybody, doesn't it? There goes that, and Momo, I guess, just defend. Yeah. Oh, we're showing weekend. Bandit missed. Yeah, when Momo uses an item, her cannon still goes off. Oh, really? Yeah, we get some nice experience in Zenny. If we needed any of that. Now this... Twelve hundred zenny. Danger. For safety reasons, please do not engage conveyor while people are on the boat. People, get off. Well, okay. Rank weed. Actually, let's save some of. Let's save his two. Let's just attack this thing. It's just one of them. Oh, you do reprisals. Okay, I tell you what. Yeah, Ryu just defends, like, normally. Heal with healing herbs for this dungeon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Face the thing, face the. There we go. Uh, that should be good there. And then what we have to do is run around to the other side, and then that can let us cross and get some of the treasures. Okay. Actually, why don't we just leave Momo to deal with the rank weed? There we go. And no more defense. Yeah, the enemies here, they're doing more damage than I remember, but they're not super tough for the most part. Just these mutant creatures. We can get some nice zenny while we're here. Oh yeah, we gotta make sure we can still sneak by here too. A slug. 
Uh, these guys... I want to say they're weak to ice? But I don't think they have a ton of health anyways. Wow, Ryu only did one more point of damage than Nina. We found high boots. Hi there, boots. Raises defense. Ooh, that raises defense quite a bit. Well, relatively speaking. Boots were made for walking. Okay. Uh, oh, can we make it through this way? Fire slug. Oh, this is a thing. We may want to ice blast this. Because it does like to use fire breath. And it's really insanely weak to that. I think it has a lot of health too, but uh, not enough to survive an ice blast. Okay, and that can just help you get back. Okay. And I think this is the only other screen of this dungeon. Bomber! Ouch. Uh, what do bombers like to be weak against? Is it Cyclone? didn't do horrible. Ouch. You know, you defend yourself because that air raid did 22 damage and I don't want you dying. with some healing herbs. Okay, and here... Two slugs and an eye bulb. Have Momo attack the eyeball. That was a really weird looking creature. Oh, well, since it's using silence, anyways. Ryu is now silenced. Does that go away after battle? Chlorine, that's just poison on one. And of course, it happens. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, take that. Oh, the eyeball regenerates health. That's cute. But it doesn't survive that. Uh, Rio's about to level up, and then, well, everybody's about to level up. Okay, Ryu is poisoned. Momo will have you fix that. I think I want back here. Want that up a little bit. Slug and a fire slug. Well. Let's take out the fire slug before that does anything really nasty. And that gets Ryu a level up. 5 AP. Nice. 3 power, 2 defense, 3 agility. Nice. That was a pretty good level up.
Oh, that did not get me anywhere. Okay. Wonder if frost is enough for that. We'll find out. I mean, it almost is. I may as well not use that much AP doing uh, Ice Blast on the thing. Because it's not really worth it. Alright, let's heal up Ryu. Okay. So there's apparently just the one treasure to get. But we gotta get back to the switches. The bombers. Um... I really don't like dealing with this guy. We are close to a level up, so I guess I should fight him. I want to say he might be weak to fire, and Simoon would be good. But we're not doing that. there and then run back around. Ah, that gets Momo level. Oh, she learned Quake. That is the offensive spell that she learns, the only one she ever learns. Remember when I first played this game, like, with my dad, me and my dad, we were like, we were just like waiting for her to learn more offensive magic, because we thought she'd be getting more eventually. But, uh, no, that does not ever happen. Pain weed. I don't feel like putting up with you. Alright, finally. I like that big red bow on the back of Nina's dress, too. Yeah, this one you gotta be careful on, because you gotta line both boxes up. Ooh, Artemis cap. That is an accessory that is going on Miss Momo. Because what that does, raises two hit chance. Yeah, she needs all the accuracy she can get. I don't remember what the percentages are. I want to say one Artemis cap raises her to... Oh, gosh. Raises her to, like... 80? 85%? Maybe not 85%. I don't know. We're getting out of here. And it looks like we're not going to quite be able to finish up this dungeon today. Uh, but that's okay, the final room is, like, literally just ahead past that, this whole conveyor section. Pain weed, weed, rank weed, let's take care of these. And Momo has something to do while she has the fire chrism.
Oh, really? You gotta have, like, one health left. Hey, the way our characters are standing, our defense isn't raised, is it? We must be on normal formation. Which doesn't really do much for us. Clearly it's been fine, though. Okay. Well, we're going to... Stop things off here. I'm gonna heal up everybody. And next time we'll finish up uh, this dungeon, take care of the mutant that Palette sent us here to deal with. So for now, I'll take my leave.